What's going on YouTube? Asian Duba here, and today I'm here with a Magic the Gathering Deck Builders Toolkit. I'm finally about allowed to uh, get some more stuff, so I'll be opening this for you guys. So what we got here is 125 randomized cards for building different uh, decks, four 15 card booster packs from some uh, a couple of older sets because this is a little old. The next core sets will be coming out in a little bit and in, in, uh, pretty soon. Um, 100 basic lands uh, for to cast the spells of the deck. Um, uh, the deck builder's guide with tips about building the best magic decks. The learn to play guide and uh, the box that this all comes in. So here, I'll be opening it up for you guys. And let's so uh, let's get started. All right. By the way, it comes with uh, a total of 225 cards. Alright, here's the box. So, okay, this is just wrapping. And here we are. Alright, so just some cardboard here. You got um, one of the packs. Here are the boosters. Got the boosters here. Um, second pack, now, and land pack, and more lands, so, yeah. Then we've got the, um, the toolkit guide, the four booster packs, so, yeah, and, um, we got the learn to play guide right here, so, all right. Anyway, now I'll close. I'll I'll put everything in here. And a bit like that. Pretty cool box. And I'll start opening them. So here we go. We got the lands, I believe. Mainly lands, I think it's all lands actually. Alright, so mainly lands, I guess. We got, let's see, four of each, so. Until the next. I don't know. Well, anyway, they're just a bunch of lands, so. Um, we got Evolving Wilds right here, so that's pretty cool. Wild is a pretty good card. Alright, a bunch of blues. There's a cellar door. A bunch of. There. Pretty cool cards. There's another Revolving Wilds. All right. Got that there. Next pack. All right. More blues. We got some black magic here. Here's a couple murders. Uh, some red and three greens in the back. And this is the last one of those pack uh, um, packs that. All 
right? There we go. So, some more green magic. We got um, some white magic, some uncommons, lots of lots of good magic cards, and then here's the rest of the lands. So I will put that over here. So here is all of our. Um, those are the 100, the 225 cards. So then we've got 60 in the booster packs, and I'll open up the, that for you. Um, in just a second. Move all these down. Alright, so. We've got, um, Innistrad, I think. Act Avacyn Restored. And then two Corset. I, I, I don't know what happened to the Dark Ascension booster pack, but, uh, I'm fine with two Corsets. So. Let's get started, uh, shall we? Let's see, which one first? Uh, let's open up with one of the corset booster packs. So, here we go. I'm not going to go through the commons, but I'll go through uncommons. Alright, so we got Mark of Mutiny, I think. Arctic of Evan, at Evan. Primal Clay, and for the rare we've got a Disciple of Ballas, I guess. I think, uh, then we've got these two. we got the land. So, common, 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 and three uncommons. So, there we go. Okay, well that's, that'll be the order. So, we'll go with this, um, Innistrad booster pack. Got this handy dandy scissors and cut the booster pack open. Oh, I don't even think that helped. Iron Fang, and a bunch of face down cards, huh? I wonder why this is backwards. That's pretty weird, but. Okay, one Iron Fang. Oh, that's pretty weird. But anyway, um. There's a common, 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 common. Okay, for uncommons, I'll put these aside. Okay, so for uncommons, we've got. Um, Desperate Ravens, I think. Um, Falconrath Noble. Rally the Peasants. Dutter Grime. And, ooh, you got one of these. Pretty cool. So, wonder where my con, where my land is. Oh, huh. This is the common. This is a. This is the rip. Okay, and this is uncommon. All right. So we've got Avacyn restored. 
I'll use my handy dandy scissors. Cut it open. Alright, there we go. Alright, so for Uncommons, we've got a Lightning Power Provis, Prowess, um, How, How Gist, Gist, I don't know, um, Better Gist, and, ooh, I pulled a Mythic, it's a Planeswalker Tamio, awesome, yes, Mythic, one Mythic, one Mythic, awesome, alright, so one land, and Mythic goes right here. Okay, hold on. Let's see if I can get something from Corset. Alright. I was able to open my other corset, so hopefully I should be able to open this one. Okay, so you can definitely see I'll be building a um, blue magic deck. Or a deck of blue magic, whatever, however you see it. I can't get this open. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got the commons. Okay, so we've got a Rancor, Cower and Fear. Jace's Phantasm, I think, is how you pronounce it. And then, for, ooh, another Mythic, awesome. We've got a Subline Archangel, yes. Another Mythic, got a token, and um, a land. So pretty awesome, pretty awesome packs, I have to say. Pulled two awesome Mythics, which is pretty cool. Then we got two Rares, which is awesome. I love this. I love this set. Hopefully, be I'll be able to get you the um, 2014 core set. So, uh, I'm reviewing over the Magic the Gathering um, toolkit for 2013 core set I have recently done. So, um, here is my deck ideas. So, with um, so first, I've got a blue Magic deck, I believe, and um, so I'll be basing this around. Tommy of the Moon Sage because it's a pretty good planeswalker. Um and I'll be and it'll be a deck depletion um game. So we got one of those which is was pretty awesome from the booster pack of Mythic. So um our main spells are um I was thinking uh two Curse of the Bloody Tome. It's supposed to um de it's deck depletion, so that's probably that's the reason. Um pretty good. We got uh, a thought. Uh, I think a, uh, a thought scour. Target player puts two the top two cards of their deck to the, from their uh, from their library to their graveyard. Then you you can draw a card, which is pretty good. Um, we've got uh, two dreadwaters. It's um, target player puts the top X cards of hit from his or her library to his and her graveyard where X is the number of lands you control. And it's a 4 mana card. It's pretty good, I have to say. It's a um, good 4 mana card. Especially a deck depletion. But this is even better. Um, target uh, uh, Mind Sculpt is 7 cards. And I got 2 of those, which will work out perfect. It's 7. It's a 2 mana card. It's a really good deal. So, we've got an instant uh, Dream Twist. Um, target player puts the top 3 cards and then you can also flashback it for uh, two mana but this is pretty good still one mana card three cards that's really good okay so we've got a creature here um... Veldakin, i think veldalkin entrancer entrancer it's um... if you tap tap one island and tap this card then you put it puts the top two of the opponents um... uh... library to their graveyard so, um, and it's got four defense, so that's, I, I think that's pretty good for it, uh, okay. 
And we got this artifact, the Ghoul Caller's Bell. And um, when you tap it, each player puts the top card of their library to their graveyard. So it might mill your stuff, but it's uh, pretty good. Okay, so for power, um, I got the Stick Strike, and um, it's got a flying, and it's 3-4, so that's pretty good. I have to, um, I guess, it's a 3-mana card, which is really good. Okay, um, Kraken Hatchling, it's got a 4 defense, which, er, 4, um, 4 health, so that's, and it's only a 1-mana card, so that's also a good deal. Um, a mess, the, c the comp components. You draw three cards, then put a card from your hand onto the bottom of your library. Good searching. Um, Nibbles out of the breath. Um, it's a flying card with two one, and um, you may. It's a good. It's a good ki uh, killer, I guess. I don't know. Um, Cause uh, you pay one um, blue mana and tap this card then you can untap or tap an opponent's card or what or your or uh, a target creature I, I should say okay so um for good effects i have uh, a miss raven um when it enters the battlefield return a target creature to its owner's hand so that's pretty good it's four mana which means it'll take a long time um a good another good deal uh fog bank it is um prevent all combat damage that would be dealt and dealt dealt to and dealt by Fogbang, so that is really good, I have to say. Um, you've got, and then, so, we got a couple negate cards. Um, Outwit is counter target spell that targets a player, so, it's a one mana card. Essence Scatter, it's a two mana card that, um, it target, it counters a target creature spell, so that's pretty good. Um, you got the, your normal negate card, counter target non-creature spell, so they're kind of, um, good. And then for some more, um, for some more searching, we've got divination, which, um, is, uh, draw two cards. Okay, so that's my, um, my blue mana build. We've, so for a green, I have a mid-range green, green mana build here. They're um, already. Or I, I sorted it out. So um, we start with two Roaring Primadox. So at the beginning of your upkeep, return a creature you control to its owner's hand. So you and the mid-range thing. I, the mid-range green is based on um, return is based on when cards er enter the battlefield. So we've got two Elvish Visionary. Um, when el when it enters the battlefield, you draw one card, and it's a uh, two mana card. So should be pretty simple. Um, Acidic Slime, 5 mana card with 2-2, two, two, but it has Death Touch, and, um, and, uh, and when it enters the battlefield, I get to, dis you get to destroy a t artifact, a t enchantment, or land, which is good for those new, for the new metagame, so. Um, we have 3 Borderland Ranger. It is a really good, uh, search, so, you got 3 of them. So, and, um, uh, Borderland Ranger is a good card that allows you to search, um, for a basic land and put it on your, into your hand. So, then you shuffle your library, as usual. So, and it's a 2-2, two, two, three mana card, which is actually not too bad, because of its good effect. So, um, yeah. Alright, so, um, we've got a Briar Pack Alpha. Which, it, which, when it enters the battlefield, a target creature gains 2-2 two, two until the, plus 2, plus 2, until the end of the turn. So, it's, it's a 3-3, three, three, um, it's got, um, it's a 4-mana card, which is, I guess that's okay. Um, when, and then Eva's Force Mage, when it enters the battlefield, target creature gains, um, plus 2, plus 2, until the end of the turn. So, it's kind of the same as this one. Except, uh, one mana, costs one less mana, and doesn't have flash, and, um, has, uh, has, um, one one less than, um, Briar Pack Alpha. Okay, Timberland Guide. It is a, um, power up for other cards. Um, it improves, when it enters the battlefield, it's a plus one, plus one to another target creature, permanently, so, that's okay. Um, we got, uh, two Bond Beetles. 
when they enter the battlefield, um, you can put one plus one plus one counter on the on another target creature. Okay, so now we got we came down to the searching cards because you're not always going to get the cards that you need every time. So we've got one ranger's path. So you can it's a four mana card that that um that allows you to search for two force cards and put them on your battlefield tapped, which is a pretty good card. So, mulch. Reveal the top four cards of your library. Put all land cards revealed this way into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. It's a two mana card. Pretty good. I have to say. Um, Farseek. Two mana card that allows you to um, put anything but an island onto your battlefield tapped. Um... One Vol Monvoli Beast Tracker, a three mana card that uh, it's another search card that when it enters the battlefield, you can search your library for a creature card with Death Death Touch, Hexproof, Reach, or Trample, and reveal it. Then you shuffle your library and put it on the top. And then um, three Arbor Elves just to speed up the deck. It's an un it's a if you tap Arbor Elf, then um, one of your forests are untapped which is a good card and it's only it's already um and it's only one mana so you can bring it out pretty early so for power we've got a couple cards um pathbreaker worm which is a six four six mana card but it's got um soulbound and when you um pair it up pair it up with another creature you can uh both creatures have trample so i have to say that's pretty good um now howl just um, it's a six mana card with undying, which is which will make if um which will make sure it's pretty str um it'll, it'll come back. It's so once again, Howlgees is a card that has that is four two and has uh, it's a six mana card. It has undying, which makes it invincible for one one attack or so. And um, and it also has this effect with that creatures with a power less than Howl's Yeast power can't block it. So it it'll make it pretty strong. The more and then with it ha with the Undying, if it had the plus one plus one, it would have five three. So all creatures with f less with five three or, or with five or le with less than five power won't be able to block it when it attacks. Hollow Hen Scavenger a uh, five, five mana card with, uh, that's four, five, and if it enters the battlefield and a creature died this turn, you gain five life. Uh, I keep it in there for power. So now for emergency, emergency, I got two titanic growth. Um, target creature gains plus four, plus four until the end of the turn. It's a two mana card, really, a really good card. And ambush viper is the last one. Um, it's a flash, so I can play it anytime, and death touch, so that's good. Um, so yeah, those are my two decks so far. I'm going to build, put more to it, and um, if you play me, uh, then I will be able to have the deck by um, uh, uh, soon. So yeah, um, th those are what I've got right now. I'll be able to, I'm sure I'll be able to build more, but... This is what I'm going to get for so far. So, thanks for watching. Asian Goomba signing out. And don't forget to subscribe to your Asian Goomba.